I, I was looking over the session this last night. We've got a lot of really great sessions. I think we cover a lot of different areas. And uh, hopefully, uh, you'll be able to get something out of this uh, conference this week uh, that will help you in your job. And, uh, and so I want to welcome you. Uh, I need to do a couple of little housekeeping chores before we get to uh, our first speakers. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to our sponsors. In particular, uh, I want to thank uh, Intel as our diamond sponsor, and Qualcomm as a platinum sponsor, and then we have uh, several gold sponsors. Uh, the Civil Infrastructure Platform, which is a new project by the Linux uh, Foundation, and uh, there's talks about that this week. Lenaro, Microsoft, and SUSE. And so I'd really like to uh, show appreciation for these. Without uh, these sponsors, we wouldn't be able to have this event and uh, appreciate uh, their support. Um, one last housekeeping thing, which is if you have any time during the week, if you have any kind of uh, issue, uh, questions, need any kind of assistance, uh, please feel free to contact the event staff. Uh, there'll be someone up at the registration booth, I think, during the whole week, so uh, they can help you with any kind of miscellaneous thing that, that, that crops up. Now, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, our first two guests are um, Linus Torvalds, who probably needs no introduction, uh, but he's like, you know, the creator of Linux. Uh, and uh, and, uh, and uh, Dirk Hondel, I tried to say that a little bit Germanically, uh, uh, who is the uh, chief open source officer uh, at VMware. And uh, I've actually known uh, both of these guys for many years. I, I, remember the, I remember very distinctly the first conversation I had with Dirk. It was <clears throat> probably at least, uh, at least eight or nine years ago. Oh, and longer than that. No, because it was before. Anyway. But uh, <laughs> I, I won't date myself. But we had a conversation at, at some event in Chicago. And, and he gave me some advice uh, that was really useful. And I, I just thought. That's so typical of open source, that people are so free uh, and generous with um, their assistance. Uh, it's not just at the coding level, but um, this had to do with, you know, the early in the days of the CE Linux forum, uh, we were doing a spec, which was kind of dumb, and we needed to switch over to just code contributions. But um, I just remember that, how helpful Dirk was. And, and then I want to share one little personal uh, anecdote uh, about interacting with Linus. Uh, this was also many years ago. Uh, I happened to be having lunch with Linus, uh, and um, I, I brought up an issue that I was having with work. You know, IT departments they kind of don't understand open source, and and you need to get through the proxies and the firewalls to get to the Git repositories and all that stuff. And I was kind of grousing about some policy that Sony had at the time, and uh, and what I had done to kind of get around it, and and. Uh, and Linus, bless his heart, said something that's like, oh, well, that seems kind of petty. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and I thought, you know, it's like kind of hurt my feelings a little bit, but darn it, he was right. And uh, that is the thing about Linus Torvalds. Uh, I've kind of watched Linus for many, many years. I've been doing Linux for 25 years. He's been doing it longer. Um, but... Uh, Linus is not right about everything. Uh, we don't want let, you know, to let that go to his head or anything. But he's, he's right uh, more often than not. And, and I've often found myself, when I'm in disagreement with Linus, I have to go back and, and check my assumptions. Uh, and so it's really great to, to hear from people of this caliber. And uh, so I'd like to go ahead and welcome uh, Linus and Dirk to the stage. So please join me in welcoming. 